So this is the uh, first LEGO League Pennsylvania State Championship. Uh, there's 24 teams here. They're the best 24 teams from around the state. Uh, they've gone through uh, uh, qualifying events, regional championships to earn their way here. And two teams from today's event will uh, advance to the World Championship in Houston, Texas in April. First, uh, this uh, level of first uh, Lego is for fourth through eighth graders. This event today is, is part of FIRST Robotics. Uh, FIRST started 35 years ago. Uh, it started with the high school level building large uh, robots uh, and then it's expanded to include uh, Lego robotics teams and also First Tech Challenge, which is a little bit smaller version of, of uh, uh, robotics. So uh, FIRST has uh, robotics programs for students in K through 12. And the, the whole focus of FIRST is to encourage kids to get interested in STEM. Uh, we're hoping the kids go on, go to college, major in STEM, and uh, we're really looking to inspire the uh, leaders of tomorrow with this program. These are uh, Lego robots. Uh, every year in August, the new challenge is released. Uh, this year, there's 15 different missions that the uh, students build and program a Lego robot to uh, compete in. And uh, they're timed in two minutes and 30 seconds to complete as many missions as they can. And uh, then they get scored on, on, on how well they do. The fun thing is with Legos, you can easily take them apart and put them back together. Uh, but these kids are always working to improve. Uh, I say two minutes and 30 seconds goes fast for 15 different missions. Uh, some of the missions are very complicated. The robots run completely autonomously. So they're always looking to shave a half a second here or find a different way to get more points. So they, they, they've been working literally since August to just make the robot better and better and better. In addition to the uh, robot game that the, the students are uh, competing in today, they also uh, have to do an innovation project. They're looking for a solution to a real world problem. And they go out and they do research, they talk to experts in that field or area, and they de develop a real world solution that can actually be implemented.